Hosting Formula One on Channel 4 has taken me to some incredible destinations in every corner of the globe. For which I will always be eternally grateful. But here's the bugbear. Between the taxi, the airport, the hotel and the Grand Prix, there's no time for fun, Steve. It's all vroom, vroom, vroom. The world going past in a blur. Well, no more. I want to taste local delights. I want to live. So here goes. Today, we're in a city that proudly proclaims itself super green. It's a global financial center. It has a multicultural population. And because it's just one degree north of the equator, it's very hot and very humid. Kelly Smith, footballing legend and England's all-time top scorer. Welcome to Singapore. Answer me this. Have you ever seen anything like this before? It's just unreal. This is one of many wonders you're going to experience today. I'm so excited to be here. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, he's moving. I just put his toe off. <laughs> All right, Kelly, here we go. Welcome to paradise. Today is yours and mine. We're going to discover Singapore together. Are you peckish? I am a little peckish, yes. Excellent. That's the right answer. Right, a couple of fundamental things about Singapore. It's multicultural and it absolutely loves food. So with that in mind, welcome to a hawker's market. Hawking, the act of selling goods. It's all here. Thai, Chinese, Malay, Indian, Western food. Some of it's delicious, some of it is not. I thought we could have a little culinary adventure. Let's find something neither of us have ever eaten before and get stuck in. You up for it? Give anything a try first off. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. Let's mooch. Fried oyster omelette. Thai food. Always order little Thai food at home. So let's keep moving. Garlic bamboo clam. Is it alive? Lemon chicken rice. Oh, it's really making my mouth water now. Curry fish head. Mm. Oh, look at this one. Fish and chips. Beautiful. It's too nice. All this stuff's too nice. I did not realize when I woke up this morning that today will be the day I eat chicken innards. Jackpot. Kelly's going to love them. Oh, I've seen something. Chicken feet. Never had that before, and that's probably a little bit out of my comfort zone. Can I have the, uh, the number nine, the chicken innards? Can I get some chicken claw, please? Give that a try. I'm not sure how much meat will be actually be on the foot. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not my cup of tea, if I'm honest, but let's give it a go. <laughs> Thank you. What do you go for? I've got chicken feet. Hey, what have you got? i got chicken in it. <laughs> they look delicious. Sounds all right. Just like grandma used to make. <laughs> Can I just point out these valves here? I think that might be some kind of aorta. I mean, I, I'm no vet. I am not going for that bit, I'll tell okay, you that much. Just shut up and eat, Steve. No. 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 That is wrong. The only way to get over this is to have a chicken foot. Right. Oh, Steve, that's a foot. Yeah. I don't think I can do it. You've got to do it. I've done it. You've got to do it. Uh, oh, that was a big bit. Uh, that was a big bit. <laughs> I just put his toe off. <laughs> uh, do you want to go again? Yeah, it's there to do again. What about a pig's trotter? We're going in, we're having braised pig's trotters. We're eating with our eyes here. This might be delicious. Might not be too. <laughs> <laughs> Think delicious thoughts. Go for it. Cheers. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's really nice. Not in seconds. It's actually really good. <laughs> it's really good. We have a winner.
So you've never been to Singapore before? No, this is my first time. Because you're pretty well travelled. I mean, you know, you, you were, you're a footballer for 22 years? Yep, where I look back and see the countries that I've travelled to and I've <laughs> not really had the opportunity to go and explore them because it's just literally hotel, training pitch, and then the stadium, game, and you're, you're back home. And even when you have a day off, coaching staff want you off your legs because you're training so intensely. Oh, wow. Singapore is a truly multicultural society. There are some Singaporeans, second, third generation, who uh, still practice the traditions of their forefathers. So I'm going to take you way off the grid to meet a Chinese cultural association. I'm definitely up for this one. Pleasure. Incredible. Welcome. I, uh, uh -huh. I'm, I'm taken aback by just how intimidating it was. Do the neighbours ever complain? They are used to it for <laughs> seven decades. Seven decades. <laughs> yes. they, they, they're used to it. Yes. I noticed you were using a string to move the mouth. Oh yeah. You know, I tilt my fingers, and the eyes are through a string, and also my body. I got to move the lion. You're not dancing as such. There was well, martial arts. This is martial art background. This not only preserved the art, but it also preserve the culture, the philosophy, and our sense of belonging. This is one form of martial arts uh, called Wing Chun. You heard of Bruce Lee? Yeah, oh, uh, that's legend. He, he, he learned this before he invented his own form of martial arts. So you, you just imagine, you know, someone hitting me, I, I try to avoid. Oh, you can try it. Take it as your dancing partner, you know? I was dancing <laughs> with my loved one. That is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crushing it. Okay, Steve, now your turn. <laughs> Sorry, I feel, I feel like I'm not... Un okay, your movement is more like a footballer, you know? <laughs> That's weird, because Kelly is the footballer. <laughs> Maybe I'm more suited to the lion head. Oh, yeah. Okay, you put the finger through here, and then you move the mouth. See? The mouth is moving <laughs> now. Huh? And when you see pretty woman, you just blink more. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to try? I'll go in the back. Let's do the drum. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I found my calling. So now you've retired, you're thinking, I want to do some traveling. Where are the places you'd like to return to? I think me coming out here to Singapore um, has made me want to visit New Zealand and Australia because for me that has always been the deterrent, the, the length of travel to get there. It takes yep. a whole day. So I know that Singapore is kind of the stopgap. Gateway to the East. I wanted to bring you somewhere where tourism doesn't exist, and that's old, old Singapore. This is the Sultan Arts Village, city-state. I've given certain designated areas to uh, street artists so they can express themselves. The result is a multicultural magnificence. One of the main street artists, this is nice Boone. I'm Steve, this is Kelly. Hi, hey, Steve. Hi, hey, Kelly. Hard Amazing. at work here. So you would do this piece of art now, and how long would that stay here? Until the next artist comes to paint over. So a month, two months? Yeah, yeah. like weeks. You get upset? That's, that's the game, man. Yes. I mean, if we turned up out of the blue, could we just have a go? Yeah. Start spraying over your mural here? Yeah, you can, man. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't be too happy, though, would you? <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> And normally the way um, we start is to do the sketch, and followed by the fill, then the outlines. Kelly can go first. Try. Oh, okay. oh fine, nice. You've got to keep in the line. line. <laughs> okay, cut that. I feel like I need to put some numbers on, you know, <laughs> painting by numbers. Yeah. It's pretty cool though, Kelly, isn't it? Because generally a city will leave its mark on you. Today, you're leaving your mark on a city. 
I've never ever done this before. It's a slippery slope. Next thing I'm using a skateboard as a form of transport. <laughs> Cut off jeans, I'm listening to Limp Biscuit. It's gonna happen. <laughs> we don't wanna mess it up. And I'm done. Thank you, thank you very much. I really enjoyed that, thank you. It's nice, man. Kelly Smith, MBE. What is it like meeting the Queen? I was so nervous. We were told that do not speak to her unless she speaks to you. We were taught how to curtsy. All of this is going into your mind. I was shaking more so than at any other football game I've played. It was bizarre. She said, congratulations on your fantastic career. Um, football's a very physical sport. How did you cope with that? I said, yes, mom, it is. Mom. It's been a pleasure to play for England and Arsenal, and I feel really privileged to be here. How she tells you that she's finished with you is by a handshake. So if you shake my hand, yes. and if I'm the queen, I push you away, so you know now that you're done. Thank you. No leave. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're heading to a little island off Singapore's southern coast called Sentosa. Ooh. We're doing something quite exciting when we get there. So, Kelly, I wanted to show you the rainforests of Singapore here at Sentosa. Zip wire! in the beach! Whoa. Whoa. Amazing. Coming in for the landing! Coming in hot! <laughs> <laughs> that was the coolest thing. <laughs> Utterly exhilarating. It went so quick. I know. The buzz you got when you first dropped. It's extraordinary. Yeah. Up top? Go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was incredible. <laughs> OK. Do you remember the gardens by the bay? Was that today? That was today, <laughs> yeah. We've done so much. I know, we've done so much. They're spectacular in the sunlight. You have to see them when the sun goes down. So I've got to take you back. And we're actually going to go up one of the super trees. No way. Yep, taking awesome. in wow. all the vistas. We're not going to zip line it down here. We're we? not going <laughs> to zip line, no. We've, we've ticked that box already today. But trust me, this is going to blow your mind. Going up to that one. Right up the middle of this one. Can't believe this aerial display. Wasn't expecting this. Wow. Not a bad vista, is it? Pretty amazing view, isn't it? And Mother Nature's putting on a light show for us there with the sunset. Yep, all fireworks in the background. Couldn't have asked for a better <laughs> ending to a fantastic day. Just want to thank you for hosting me today. I've had a great day Stop here it. in Singapore. You've been the best host ever. You've been the best travel companion. <laughs> I think it's only fitting we say a huge cheers and thank you to Singapore. Singapore. Thanks for the memories. <sighs> <laughs> Bliss.